we can take a short quiz in order to test our understanding so far. Under the sum of digits method, the amount of depreciation is A. Increasing every year B. Decreasing every year C. Revalued every year D. Remains fixed for all years The correct answer under sum of digits method, the amount of depreciation decreases every year because we take the remaining, what is our depreciable amount into remaining life of the asset divided by sum of the year's digits. So the denominator remains constant, but the numerator changes, in fact decreases as the machine grows older, as the asset grows older. Therefore, under sum of the digits method, which is a variation of the reducing balance method, the amount of depreciation decreases every year. So the correct answer 1B decreasing every year. Next, under the machine art method, the amount of depreciation is increasing every year, decreasing every year, computed every year, remains fixed for all the years. Under the machine hour method, how do we compute depreciation? Under this method, the life of the machine is determined by the estimated number of machine hours. Therefore, total depreciable amount divided by the number of estimated machine hours gives us the rate per hour. The rate per hour into the number of hours worked is the depreciation we would compute. Therefore, under the machine hour method, the amount of depreciation has to be computed every year depending on the number of hours worked. The correct answer should be 2C, computed every year. Next, under the reducing balance method, depreciation is computed as fixed rate on original cost, fixed rate on book value, reducing rate on a written down value and none of the above. Under reducing balance method, depreciation is computed as a fixed rate, but it is not on the original cost. It's a fixed rate on the book value. It's a fixed rate on the book value. It is not a reducing rate. Therefore, the correct answer should be 3B. 3B, fixed rate on the book value. Next, original cost is 50,000, scrap is 1,000, life is 5 years. What would be the rate of depreciation under the straight line method? The original cost 50,000, scrap value is 1,000, therefore 50,000 minus 1,000, 49,000 is the depreciable amount divided by 5 gives us 49,000 by 5. 9,800 is our depreciation amount every year. So what is the rate of depreciation? Rate of depreciation is the depreciation amount per annum divided by cost of the asset into 100. Therefore, it's 9,800 by 50,000 into 100 equal to 19.60%. Therefore, the correct answer should be 4B, 19.60. A machinery with an original cost of 1,60,000 and a salvage value of 10,000 has a life of 5 years. What will be the depreciation for the third year under the straight line method of depreciation? So there is an original cost is 1,60,000, a salvage value is 10,000. This has a life of 5 years. What is the depreciation amount? 160,000 minus 10,000. 150,000 is therefore, 150,000 is therefore the total depreciable amount. This divided by 5 will give us 30,000 is the depreciation per annum. 
What is the question? What will be the depreciation for the third year under SLM method of depreciation? Every year we have the same amount of depreciation and therefore it should be 30,000. The correct answer should be 5A, 30,000. Next, a machinery with an original cost of 160,000 and a salvage value of 10,000 has a life of 5 years. So it's a similar problem. What will be the book value of the asset as at the beginning of the fifth year, assuming SLM method of computing depreciation was adopted? Again, the total depreciable amount, same thing, 160,000 minus 10,000 divided by 5 gives us 30,000 is the depreciation per annum. Now we want to know the value of the asset at the beginning of the fifth year. So for four years, the total depreciation must have been 30,000 every year into 4, 120,000. So what is the value of the asset? It's 160,000 is the original cost minus 120,000 depreciation charge. Therefore, 40,000 must be the book value of the asset. What will be the book value? Answer should be 6D, 40,000.